Hello guys. In this video we will see some of the simulation settings and how to use them. To get to these settings just click on the gear icon in the circuit toolbar. Then click in the simulation tab. First, remember that you can open the help to see some brief explanations of each option. The first setting is the simulation speed. We have two ways to control it. With this slider we can adjust the speed easily but little accuracy. Let's see it in action with a very simple circuit. Just a clock source and a probe. Note that the limit in this method is at 1%. At this speed we start to see the changes with a 1 kHz clock. We can see how the simulation time runs very slowly. We have another method with no limits and much more accuracy. In the step per second box we can set an unit and a value. This is the simulation time that will run in one second of real time. For example if we set a step of 1000 microseconds, we will see the probe changing one time per second. And at 500 microseconds, 2 times per second. Here, the nonlinear maximum iterations can be used to limit the maximum number of steps that nonlinear components can use to converge. Nonlinear are diodes and other rectifiers transistors, and op amp and voltage regulator. In most cases this is not very useful, but sometimes this can help to speed up the simulation. In general better don't change this value if you don't know exactly what you are doing. Now let's go with the reactive step. This one determines the speed at which reactive components are updated. Let's see it in a circuit. Here we have a clock and a simple RC circuit. If we turn it on, we see the usual charge and discharge curves, nice and well defined. Now let's change some values to make it faster. We can see that now the curves don't look continuous anymore. One microsecond update time starts to be too slow. And if we make it even faster, the curves look worse and worse until we can barely see a curve at all.
This can affect the accuracy of the simulation, and in some cases our circuit can malfunction or completely stop to work. By reducing the reactive step we can adjust the speed of reactive components to the speed of voltage changes in the circuit. This comes at a cost. Note how the simulation speed have decreased dramatically. Let's continue with the last setting, slope steps for logic output edges. Again, let's see it in a circuit. This is a simple circuit with one clock source and two gates. If we turn it on and zoom in the oscilloscope, eventually we will see the propagation delay. If we have a look at the properties in the gate, we see that the propagation delay is configured at 10 nanoseconds. We also see two properties for rise time and fall time. By default, the rising and falling slopes are not simulated. To see these slopes we need to set a number of steps in the slope steps property. Note that this setting needs a simulation restart to take place. Now we can see the slopes and we can experiment how it affects the propagation times, etc. To disable the simulation of the slopes just set the steps to zero again. The more steps, the more accurate is the simulation of the slopes. But as always this comes at the cost of an slower simulation.
Well, this is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you want. Have a great day and see you in the next video.